Andy in Dillon, Colorado. That's just up I-70 from where we are. Hey, Paul, I'm curious to know what the difference is between FLAC and MQA, and how do they impact the sound quality of audio files? Does one format have an advantage over the other? And what factors should I consider when choosing which format to use for my music collection? All right. Well, they are both compression schemes. So FLAC is an acronym for Free Lossless Audio Codec, and uh, MQA is Master Quality Assured, if I remember right. And that's the Bob Stewart uh, from Meridian thing. And both are compression schemes, and I would say that if it were up to me, FLAC would be the one I would choose because MQA is a lossy uh, scheme. In other words, they're stripping off information which you don't need, and that's arguable. And they will tell you at MQA that that information, that high, ultra high frequency information, that they strip off in order to compress, they fold it down, is not necessary, and that the end result of MQA is a much, much better sound. They are manipulating the sonics, okay? And they are squeezing it down into a compressed space. So whether it is better or worse is a matter of opinion. My opinion, it's worse. I don't like MQA. I supported it for a while, and the more I learned about it, the less I liked it. And there's tons of people that would completely disagree with me, but what we can agree upon is that it is changing the file rather dramatically. Now, FLAC, on the other hand, is a compression scheme that is lossless. It does not change the digital bits, the computer language. It compresses it down to about 50%, and then when you unfold it all, you get exactly bit perfect. Bit for bit, you get it. So if you're going to compress your audio and your choice is MQA or FLAC, my advice, go with FLAC. Because, look, at the end of the day, I'm a purist. I don't want somebody messing with my stuff. Oh, nope, you leave my stuff alone. <laughs> Unless it does make it better, which I don't think it does. So there you go. There's some controversy for you. Paul doesn't like MQA. And I'll get people jumping down my throat over that stuff. But there you have it. All right. Thanks for the question. Talk to you later.